what a magnificent morning it is and we're here on the morning to Peninsula and I have a man that's here from another state, it used to be called the City of Churches, South Australia. Rod from Squid Easy. Rod, how are you mate? Very well, thanks Michael. Rod's joining us today to teach me how to clean squid because I'm shocking at it. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to catch a couple first. Well, it's um, we've had three days of no wind and no rain and let's hope we don't get any today mate because the water is clear and it's absolutely fantastic here in Port Phillip Bay. You're going to show us a unique way of cleaning calamari mate. Yes, oh, indeed. You've, you've invented these special tools that do the job Correct. a lot more easier than the way I do it and get in ink and slop and mess everywhere yep. and skin and slime and yeah, brilliant. Yep, that's yep. What's, what's on the agenda, it well, should be good. Let's go catch something clean. Awesome. <laughs> sort of rig we're going to use today, we're going to use a couple of different methods. Uh, one, we're just going to tie a squid jig to the end of the line. <laughs> Pretty easy one, that one. Um, and we're going to have a, what I call a static bait, just over the side, around about four or five metres down. We're in about eight metres of water drifting, drifting around here. Now, I'm also going to have a small bean sinker. Just a, sorry, a small ball sinker. And I'm just going to tie like a, a, Pan a Pananosta style rig. Now, this is called a drop shot. So basically, I'm just going to tie the sinker to the bottom. I'm just going to make a dropper loop, probably about, I probably want it about a foot, foot and a half off the ground. Okay, now, a dropper loop. That's a very simple rig, I do it quite often. Just make a loop, like so. And you twist the two top lines around each other around about 10 times. You pull the loop through the gap. Just before you clinch it up, but not, it's a dropper loop. Now what that's going to do is the squid jig's going to be looped onto that, and as that sinker bounces up off the bottom, that squid jig will act like it should in the water, and the squid will come up and nail it. Today we've got, have a look at these, jet black. These are new squid snatchers from Black Magic. These are absolutely fantastic because they glow. Look at that, jet black, but with a glow belly. So you can light them right up at night and they do glow very well. So we've got two O's, 2.5's and 3's today. Now the 2.5 I'll be putting on the drop shot, the 3 I won't. I'll just have that suspended and I'll just be working that jig and we'll have a static over there. Rod's going to use his, uh, he's, he's bought a few jigs and uh, he's going to try these because he was saying before I was on the way out they look very good. And let me tell you Rod, they are. So there's the drop shot rig. As you can see, around about a foot off the bottom, small 2.5 jig. Now, I always try and do this on camera, and I can never manage to get my squid on the very first cast. So I'm going to try it again, see if we do. This may take a while. <laughs> Rod, feel free to uh, pick, pick a weapon of choice. Follow that rod on the end there that's not um, lined up. Yeah. And just um, yeah, tie one on the end of there, mate, for yourself. And the way you want to rig it up, the way you want. Yeah. And uh, here's um, some scissors, mate. If you want a braid scissors, yeah. if you want. To... You're right. You know what you're doing, mate. Yeah, I'm sure. Now I'll cast it out a fair way because it is my first cast. <laughs> and I want to catch one on my first cast. <laughs> Rigged up the new uh, the new reel last night with brand new SSP. Um, oh, and bang! <laughs> first cast, there we go. <laughs> About time I finally got one on my first cast, there we go. And he hit that jig very well, so I can uh, happily say the Black Magic Jet Black rig, uh, snatches work absolutely fantastic.
How's that, Rod? Yeah, it's very good. We've got one for us to clean, mate. Excellent. Beautiful. Good day, little guy. That's all right. I won't point him towards you, mate. They're sweet. For, uh, do you choke them? Do you kill them straight up? Yeah, yeah. well, that's what we, we try and be humane as possible. Choke. And we uh, we got a method where we karate chop the head, karate chop the back of the neck, and that puts them out straight away. Right. Have you ever seen that method? I have. I've heard about it. I yeah. choke them. Have you seen yeah. that one? Well, because they've got yeah. two brains and, and 25 hearts and three lungs and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've heard all the things. But anyway, I'll show you the way I do it, and then maybe you can show us the way you do it on okay. the one you're getting next. So yeah. we'll bring this down here for the cameraman. Yeah. Okay, and then one, I'll, I'll hit the head, head will go white, and then hit the back of the neck, that will go white, mm -hmm. and they're out. Now, if you're a serious lure fisherman like me and you chase a lot of trout, squid, walk along the banks for flatties and do a lot of traveling around and you don't want a big heavy load on your back, the Black Magic Waste Pack is a lifesaver. Now I've only just gotten one of these little guys myself and they're little pocket rockets. The stuff that you can get into this little bag is amazing. If you have a look here, I've got this on the side of me when I'm waiting. It allows me to carry a bait knife. I've got five of my trusty Rapalas in there. That's five lures. An entire brag mat, a box of backup lures, that's just one pocket. Go in the front, got a tape measure if it's too, too crowded for the brag mat, a little pocket of snaps, two reams of litre, braid scissors and room for a lot more. Now when you're waiting and you don't want a big bag and have the ability to carry all of this stuff, why wouldn't you? Trust me. Get out, grab one, load it up. You'd be amazed what you can fit in it. It's padded at the back, so it's not gonna dig into you. And it is the handiest thing I've had since waders. And even with all that stuff in the bag, it's still got a strap that I clip around. I put the black magic pliers onto that. And I don't have it here, but on the other side, I've got a black magic net as well. It's all black magic. It's nice and versatile. It sits on the side, doesn't get in the way, and it's everything I could possibly need. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot more use out of it in a lot of other situations. It's such a versatile little kit, and it's bound to be used quite a lot if you pick one up. Guys, so we're just in the middle of spring. Snapper are just about to come on, and I dare say they're hunting around for these little guys. So are we. We really need upsize from this one. What do you reckon, Rod? Yeah, it's, uh, it's doable. He's a nice, nice snapper snack, mate. Yes, he is. Really. <laughs> and we're hooked onto another one. Now, oh, he's only just hooked by the tentacle. Now we have some snapper, snapper trips coming up. So these little squid are going to be absolutely fantastic. Of course, Rod's going to show us how to clean some of these for some beautiful calamari rings tonight, mate. Some rings. Another little guy. Some great bait keepers. I'm really after a bigger one though. Come on, Rod, catch a big one for me, can you? We're starting to get a few. We're allowed 10 per person in Vic. Mm -hmm. um, if there's 10 people on the boat, they're allowed 10 each. Okay. I believe it's different in South Australia for the rules of yeah. uh, bag limits on squid. Yep. Yeah. What, what would they be, mate? Uh, land base 15. Per person. Per person. 15. Mm -hmm. 15. Lucky which boat. includes cuttlefish as well. Yes. And 45 per boat. Three people or more on the boat. So it's a boat limit, not boat a boat limit. Yeah. So if there's three or more on the boat, then that's 45 it. and that's it. That's it. If there's 20 on the boat, well, that sounds a lot more. 45. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but 15 land based. Yep. 15 land based. Lucky South Australians get all the luck, don't you? Hey, what are you doing, Dave? But you got more fish over there, so. That's it. If you keep yeah. that up, though, you won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, side of the boat. A clean up job. There's one half, there's the other half. Done and dusted. Good boy. 
on the inside of the boat, not the inside of the boat. Happy with that. <laughs> that's the way, hey? That's very good. Take the mess on the outside of the boat. Yes, that's all right, we'll wash that. As you can see, there's a rod just hanging out of the back there from nowhere, and it's not me or, me or Rod using it. It's, uh, it's our cameraman. There you go, cameraman. There's your squid, mate. Get on your rig. Thanks, Rod. Yep, there we go. Got another one. Oh, he just spat it. Oh, no, he inked too, so I doubt he'll come back, but you never know. Yeah, generally once they ink, they won't, but here comes his mate, and bang, got his mate. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Just by the tentacle. You reckon, Rod? Yeah. Can get him in. I'll try. Wait. Right. Point the old tube the right way. Yeah. Always, folks. Get that jig straight back in the water because see it. a lot of the time squid will follow other squid up. Always get it back in the water. Another monster. <laughs> They're ambitious, mate, when they're hitting baits as big as them. Well, we're in the kindergarten here, are yeah, we? Yeah, we're in the nursery, mate. Mm. You know what? They say don't leave fish to find fish, but maybe we will. Maybe we'll try another location, try and see if we can find a couple of bigger squid over at maybe near Mount Martha. Here I am with Jamie at Melbourne Marine Centre. Mate, we're talking all things squid fishing. Definitely today, yes. Well, some aspects of squid fishing. Um, now, one is when you catch a squid on a pier, a lot of land-based anglers out there. Yep. Um, sometimes they sort of break off when you try and get them up on the pier, mate. They do indeed, they do, <laughs> definitely. I've broken off many. Yes, but me see, too. But you have a little contraption here that can prevent all that from happening. Yep, which is the Yagi Squid Gaff, yep. uh, which is from Tackle Works. Um, yeah, they've been a great thing for us, definitely for land-based fish shows, you know, like for being on piers and that, where you've got the depth where you can't get to to, to lift your squid up, yep. it reaches out to 15 feet, so four and a half metres to get your squid. 15 foot, four and a half metres, that's pretty long, yep. and I reckon that should cover nearly every pier in Melbourne. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it's got this, like, apparatus here on the side, mate, what's this? Yeah, so with that there, having this here, you can put it onto your bag or clip it onto your side of your pocket. Yep. Just helps there, there when you need it, you just clip it off and away you go. Let's um, show the... Now, what's going on at the end here, mate? Looks so like that's just big, the um, big prong. Is, um, clip that right into the hood of a squid, and then just lift it up vertically, so you bring it right up, and without uh, the squid falling off, that's the whole plan. <laughs> Have a look at that, guys. I hope I'm not throwing that camera out. But that is very cool. And it goes a lot longer than that, mate. Yeah, right out to 15 it feet. It actually reminds me of the old, um, well, these days we'd have to say ethnic poles that they used to use on the um, oh, Elec Pier. Big, long 15, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I reckon that's where they come up with the old, mate. And it's fully graphite? Fully graphite. Very light? Very light, yes. Fantastic. Rightio. Now, another cool thing of squid, part of squid fishing is the UV aspect of, uh, of squid fishing with the lures and the jigs. Yep. Now, um, we all know, uh, well, most of us know that uh, squid see in UV. Correct, yes. In an ultraviolet light. Yep. These are squid jig companies, and uh, obviously one of my favourite Black Magic make jigs to glow. They do indeed. So, what's the best way to do that, mate? What's this? What's this little thing here? So this is just a charge UV light. So definitely ideal for anything that's got glow through your squid jig. Pretty much turn it on over your jig, get it charged up. So what the squid will see is just this nice glow going through the water as you're working your jig back yeah. to you. Back to you. And that's a black light. You can do it with a normal light. Yep. Um, a flash okay. off a camera or camera. a very bright light, yep. um, but black light will get it to glow 10 times faster. Just, yeah, charges that lot quicker, correct. Yeah. Well, wow. excellent, mate. Need to know any more information, come down to Melbourne Marine Centre down here in Helm, speak to Jamie, he'll sort you out. Much bigger. 
I don't know, maybe it's just because it's further away. <laughs> <laughs> More drag. Yeah. Now uh, there's another squid just coming down here, Rod. Another two. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Another two right down here in the water. Okay. Now they're pretty much the same size, actually, mate. They're just the little guys. And there is squid everywhere here. All right. We've got a very big patch of squid here. I can see four or five in the water. Oh, that's a oh, he's a bit better. This is what we came. Oh, you just got him too. Just drop that jig back in the water, mate. And you just got him. <laughs> Still happening. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Hey? <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Uh, Look at that. Like, I yeah, that I know. Yeah, I normally grab him around the back of the head generally, but I was being a bit lazy then and decided to just lift him in. Yeah. And paid I paid the, the paid the price well and truly. Price. There, you go. Yeah, right. yeah, there we go, got him again. He's a bit bigger this one. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. A little bit bigger. You look bigger underwater. Oh, look bigger underwater. There we go. Alright, but I want his mate, because his mate was a bit bigger than that, I think. So there we go. Now these, bad boys, we're gonna be using these to clean these. Correct. And you're gonna show me what to do with this. Because <laughs> I'm looking at that going, what if we'll just <laughs> leave it on top and just give it a shuffle? <laughs> Fair question, Michael. Right. Fair question. Well, you're going to see it very All soon. All will be revealed. All right, we're going to catch I a couple. Promise. We're going to catch a couple more squid. We're going to get back to the boat ramp. Yep. And we're going to clean some of these bad boys. Well, we've had a fantastic day out on the cephalopods, mate. We did very well. We did indeed. And uh, we bought over some squid in our 15 cent cold bag. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't free, it was 15 cents. Uh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, worth every cent because it holds water. Look at that. <laughs> First cold bag we've ever seen holds water. Anyway, uh, so we've just pulled out some of the some of the squid that we've got. And Rod, you're going to show us your stuff. Yeah. All right, so that's probably the biggest one we caught. Uh, so yeah. we'll say that was my one. Yeah, that was yours, in fact. Okay, so we're going to go with a bit of a size range. So yeah. it's like a large, a medium, yeah. and a smaller size. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. So yep. we'll just stick with those ones. Yep. And uh, I guess there's no more for me to say, mate. It's just for you to do. Okay. Show us your stuff. All righty. Which one do you want me to do first, Michael? Oh, uh, well, we'll go, we'll go with the medium. Hey? Medium, we'll the all right. Okay. Beautiful. Yep, okay, we've got our squid lined up here. We've got our three squid tools. Obviously the, the large one is too large for that one, like for the big bloke at the back. This one's a little bit under his hood size, so that's a bit too small. So this one's just right, a medium size tool for this particular squid, it's perfect. First of all, we've got to break the membrane that's between the tube and the body of the squid. So you can see when I put this tool in, I'm keeping it parallel, I don't want to go down too deep otherwise I'll sever the ink sac. And you can see there, there's resistance straight away. That's the connecting tissue. We've got to break that. So I'm going to push a little bit harder. And there it goes. And then all the way in, all the way in until the end there. And then I'm using the finger grips here on the side and on the end of the hole there, just to hold it and grab him back behind the eyes. A nice firm tug and pulls him out. And there's the ink sac there intact. We haven't broken the ink sac. No black ink or mess anywhere. So that's job Freeze. number one. This is a fresh squid. Just came out the bay out there. So they're very slimy, very slippery. And what I found when I was cleaning fresh squid 
is getting this backbone out is problematic. You can see it's got a lot of resistance there. So what I do is get one of the other Squid Easy tools. I run that on top of it and almost sandwich them both together. And the feather comes out, or the quill, or the pen, depends on where you are and what state you're in. But that's job done. That's, that's pretty tricky when they're fresh like that because they really hang on. Then I'm using the medium tool again. The little one's done its job. Put it back inside the hood. And then we're going to invert it. We're going to hold it up like so. Now when they're fresh, they're very vulnerable to tearing. Normally when they're frozen or you do them cold, we use the slot in the small tool here. And I just give that a bit of a rock and roll, a bit of a wriggle over the end, and that splits it. You'll probably find doing them fresh, you can use your fingernails quite easily, if you've got fingernails that is. And that then simply just peels away. So then we go and peel it down. Flaps and the outer membrane all come off because you've got a rigid surface to work to now. And there we go, flaps are away. A bit more there. Always have a bit of water nearby, just keep your hands nice and clean. So that's the job done so far. Wow, how quick was that? Then, and, you're, and you're showing that nice and, and slow to us, but that's yes. really fast. Now I'm going to do something really special here, Michael. Yes. I'm just going to take that off, which yep. is the last remaining bit. We don't want ugliness, do we? No. And then I'm going to turn this around using the, the dry part of the board, yep. using the little V notches in here. Yep. This, so what yeah. are you going to turn it inside out, mate? Yeah, it's going to turn it inside out because there's still uh, residue stuff inside the tube. We want that all cleaned out. All right. Show us how it's done. So I'm going to point that in about 30 odd degrees, push down. Get those little V notches happening, turn it inside out, and roll it over. Fully inverted, and you can see there that the remains are left behind here. Yep. And on both sides, so I just get my trusty knife, give that a bit of a scrape off. And that inner membrane apparently is what gives the squid easy that chewiness, apparently, according to a chef that I met one day. Yep. So you can see that stringiness there, we've got to try and get rid of all that. So that's your tube, done and dusted. That's ready then for calamari rings or a stuffed tube into the barbecue or into the oven. Hundreds of recipes available to make that something to behold. That's fantastic. Now that is very simple. That is very, I could probably do that. I reckon you could. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you could. All right. Now, to find more information about Rod and Squid Easy, where do they go, mate? They go to the webpage, yep. www.squideasy.com.au. Facebook page, Instagram? Yes, we have a Facebook page as well. Yep, yep. Instagram, we're not up there yet, but yep. we're working on it. <laughs> That's all right, mate. Technology <laughs> catches everyone. It does including indeed. Including us. Um, or you can go to ozfishtv.com and you'll find links to Rod there as well. Uh, Aussie made and known invention. Yes. Absolutely yep. fantastic. Support, yep. support every Aussie you can. And this, yep. is, this is a way to do it, especially if you're a fish show. And a squiddo. Yes. Isn't that right, Mr. Squidley? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> Mr. Diddley. <laughs> <laughs> Ripper, mate. Okay. Thanks, Rod. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Been a pleasure. Thank you.